Hey y'all, Sam Dinthy one here, and welcome back to our Persona 4 Golden Adventures. If you don't mind, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. <clears throat> now, let's, uh... Let's go ahead and save real quick. And then, uh... <laughs> head to bed for the night, because... Boy, boy, are we really tired. Just absolutely wiped out. <clears throat> February 14th. It's Valentine's Day. Who could that be from? You're coming to school today, right? I want to talk to you and stuff, so I'd like to walk home with you. Yeah, let's spend time with you, Kiko. I mean, after all, she's our, uh, uh, she's our sweetheart for this, uh, <laughs> this playthrough. <clears throat> Yo! Hey, Yosuke. Things were tough yesterday. I never thought I'd get zapped by lightning in real life. Thanks to that shock or whatever, I totally forgot what today was. It's February 14th, you know. I didn't have much time to prepare myself for this, so I've been nervous all morning. Ugh. Someone, help me do something about all this pressure. It just, just... <laughs> believe in yourself, believe it. <laughs> I used to, back when I lived in the city. But it's been nothing but betrayal ever since. Oh man, if I end up just getting friend chocolates, and those only from Teddy, I'll never live it down. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, everyone! They posted the test results! Oh. Ugh, the awful moment of truth. Honestly, I forgot we had the tests. Oh well, wanna check it out? Yeah, let's let's check out the test results real quick. <clears throat> we got the highest score. Wow! Whoa, you're a genius, Sam. That's awesome. I'm just as happy as if I'd gotten the highest grade myself. Oh, thank y'all. Once break's almost over. That means a lot. I mean, I'm lucky that I scored the highest marks, but feeling feeling good about it. More male students to stay after school than usual. Huh? What should I do now? I'm gonna hang out here for a bit longer, but. I don't know what to do. I don't like there's anything for me to do at home anyway. Oh, I got it. I'll go up to the roof or something. I'm, I'm gonna be behind the school building. You know, just because. Huh. Most of the girls are already gone. <clears throat> Did you get anything else, guy? Or was it just okay. from Teddy? Man, all these guys are obsessed with chocolate. If they want candy so much, why don't they just buy some themselves? <laughs> oh, Kanji. Are you serious? This is the one day you shouldn't be buying chocolate for yourself. Yeah? Hmm. Man, you're clueless. Whatever. I know I'm getting some for sure today. <laughs> Stop fooling yourself. <laughs> oh, I didn't bring you any. I'm oh, I should have said that. I can get quite a lot. From part-time workers at Juness. Oh. The important thing is that I have any at all. Yeah, that's true. Right, Chie san Yukiko san? I see you've got some big bags with you today. Wow, that's not the sound of desperation or anything. <laughs> yeah, I do have some. Right, Yukiko? Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. I like candy. What makes you think it's going to you? It might be for me. <laughs> Don't be so desperate. And I brought some too. Oh, are you guys handing out chocolate? Great timing. Here you go, Chie Senpai, for always being so hardworking. Why me? Because today's for giving out chocolate to the people you like, right? It's a great day to say thank you to all those people in your life. Not just your romantic partner. Wow. Putting a new spin on things. Huh. She's 
so thoughtful. Must be all those years in showbiz. <laughs> Here's a hands out chocolate to each person. Oh. I never thought I'd get chocolate from the Rosette in person. So Yosuke got off by herself. Don't make too much out of it. It's just friendship chocolate. Yeah, I figured. This chocolate is really good, so I hope you all enjoy it. Well, I have some other people to give chocolate to. Bye. Bye, Lisa. Wow, her ability to avoid personal drama is impressive. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, Nato-kun. Hey, Nato. What are you all doing together? What's that supposed to mean? Today's a huge deal. Ah, uh, I see. Well, if you'll excuse me. She never breaks a sweat. Uh -huh. Oh well, Kanji. Guess we're spending time with each other today. <laughs> uh. Sure, why not? I totally <clears throat> feel like we missed the train here. Yeah. Attention, everyone! I have chocolates here with everyone's names on them. Please take your candy and go home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. If you can't find yours, come see me later. Uh, that means you. Oh. Yukiko? <clears throat> Man, Yukiko's being even bossier than normal. I'm gonna go make sure she's okay. Now let me do that. Oh, this is chocolate for everyone in it. Take yours and go home. Oh. What the hell? Talk about being brushed off. Yeah, two girls are just like, hey, take it and get out of here. I don't want to see you anymore. Just, just head straight home. Well, you don't want yours? I'll take it. <laughs> God, you moron! Of course I want it. Must go see Yukiko later. Yeah, I need to. <clears throat> Oh, she's over at the beach. This is a nice little romantic place to uh, go to for Valentine's Day. It's a nice breeze too. I bet you were surprised just now. I acted kind of weird. Yeah. I thought out all these ways to present it to you, and I practiced a big speech. Oh, it's cute when you're huh? <laughs> blushing and embarrassed but like everyone that. Everyone was there, and I had such a huge box, and it was hard. This is for you. It's kind of big, but... It's a huge box of chocolates. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> I wanted to make it myself, but everyone else at the end noticed what I was doing. Yeah. First they just supported me, but then they all started helping out. Oh. So, it's more like a gift from the entire Amagi Inn, instead of me. I only made a little part of it. Still, I appreciate it, thank you. But... I think it tastes good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the head chef helped to put it all together, so I'm sure it's yummy. <laughs> head chef, not you? Okay, okay, just, just, oh, just ask me. <laughs> <myself, too. clears throat> Will you open it? Yeah. The gourmet quality chalk is off a wonderful aroma. Rich flavor and melts. Ooh. Yeah, help over for you, Kiko. That was good. The cooks sure are impressive. But I wish there was more depth to it. Huh? Such as how? They stopped me, but I should have gone with my gut and used the squid ink. Um. Yeah, next time, then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it'll add a layer of complexity to the flavor. They are the same color, after all. Yeah, cause, cause. Make sure the same color next counts. year, so I'll try making it next week. Oh, th thanks. <sighs> I'm so glad I could give it to you. I couldn't sit still. I've been thinking about this day for so long. I didn't know if we'd be able to spend the day together, <clears throat> but at the very least, I wanted to give you the chocolate. Thank you. And let you know how I feel. But even this huge present isn't enough to express the way I feel. My feelings for you are much 
much bigger. When I was making the chocolate with everyone at the inn, I felt like you were with me. As if you were standing right by my side. <laughs> I had a little daydream about that. Mm -hmm. I'll be the manager, and you'll be next to me. When a guest comes, we'll welcome them together. We'll say, welcome, together. Oh. And that's how it'll be. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that might be how they do it at Juness, but that's no way to greet people at an inn. You have to bow gracefully. <sighs> no fair. Now I can't get the sound of you shouting that out of my head. Yeah. Whenever I hear someone say that, I'm going to remember you. It'll be as if we're saying it together. Yeah, and a little something to remember me by, too. Great, now I'm starting to sweat. Oh. <laughs> cold wind is blowing. It should be really cold right now. <clears throat> but I don't feel any of that. Only sound I hear is the crashing of the waves. It's such a peaceful my sound. Heart is filled with my love for you. It's so warm. I feel like I'm going to melt. I'm scared that I'm going to disappear. I love you. I love you so much. I love you too, Yukiko. With all that I am. Kiss, 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 kiss. Smell the sweet aroma of chocolate. It's been a long time with you, Kiko. But no kiss, come on! Are we all <laughs> people each other in the hot springs and got shocked by lightning? But no kiss on screen, really? <clears throat> oh, hi, Marie. You're late. Yeah, what are you doing here? Waiting for you? Today, I can't have the nose or Margaret in the way. Don't worry, I got permission. Huh? What's that? It's shaking. I have chocolate. You can have it. Oh, thank you. It smells. Yeah, it's moving. That room doesn't have any eclectic loutwits. I did the best I could, but I don't know if it turned out any good. A collective lab words. I love that. I love that. Sorry. No, 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 no. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. You're, you're too straightforward. I, I hate you, stupid. Hmm. That's why you're so popular. You can eat it. If you don't hurry, it'll melt. If it melts, it'll run away. Wait, what? If it melts, it'll run away? Is it like a live animal or something? I have a feeling of danger. I've already accepted her gift. When you eat it, um... I want you to tell me whether it was good or not. Now. Now? now? Okay, let's... Tastes quite normal. Oh, nice. Wait, it smells? No, this is. I can't stop eating it. What is that? You ate it all? That's incredible. Are you stupid? Hey! Well, it, it makes my work worth it. I have the unsettling feeling that something's moving within my stomach. Yeah, what was making it move? Valentine's Day isn't an actual ritual. Huh. I looked it up. Yeah, it's not. I thought it was some big event. You know, a turning point of your life. No, it happens every 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 year. I'm so lame. I was fooled. I feel stupid. Don't feel <sighs> stupid. You're learning. But it's not like that. I, I didn't make that chocolate just because I thought it was something I was supposed to. No, that, that makes it sound like I'm serious. Uh, uh, well, I am serious, but... Okay, that's kind of cute. <laughs> just, she's just stumbling over and, her words. And, and you can just shut your stupid jerk face! <laughs> I know, I know. I'm telling the truth! Look, just... Close your eyes. Huh? Shut up and close them! 
Okay. okay. Thank you. Well, I don't really get it, but I won't forget about you. Ever. Wait, are you leaving still? Spend some time, where are you? Dojima residence of room. Dojima's away on business and can't come home. Oh. Hey, bro. Do you know what day it is today? Um, I don't know. Is it your birthday? No, what day is it? It's Valentine's Day. I guess there are some things even you don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There are some things that even I don't know. This is my favorite chocolate. Monica gives some chocolate that's very popular with children. Oh, thank you! It's sweet and yummy! <laughs> yes, it is. Today, my teacher said... Valentine's Day isn't just a day to give out chocolate. It's a day to say thank you to the people you care about. Oh, well, she's very, she's teacher very right. Teacher gave us all chocolate. Everybody, even me. Oh, that's sweet. And when she gave it to me, she said, It's been tough for you, but you've done very well. Everyone tells me I'm strong for pulling through. Oh. That's <clears throat> why I said thank you back. <laughs> and I said that my big bro and my dad are rooting for me. And that's why I can be happy again. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of you. Really? Yes, really. And then my teacher was so happy. And then she said, when someone's cheering you on, even when you're in trouble, you feel energized. Do you feel like that when I cheer you on? Oh yeah, I feel super energized. <clears throat> me too. When you root for me, I get so happy. We're the same. <laughs> yes, we are. Me, my dad, and your friends are all on your side. Oh, thank you. Even if you go back soon, I hope you're happy. I, I will be happy. I had one more chocolate. I made it myself. Oh. Ah. Oh. It's in the shape of a slime. Oh, no. With some miracle has no smell at all. The big girls taught me how to make homemade chocolate creations. That's why I made one for you. Thank you. The six hundred for years of that are ringing warning bells in my mind. Oh no. She said I should mix in iced coffee to add flavor. No, you didn't ask Chie. Oh, and bacon. Since everyone likes bacon. Oh, I'm gonna kill you, Chie. Luckily, there was some bacon and iced coffee in the fridge. Oh, I'm so gonna kill you, Chie. Risei Chan said that the chocolate no. should assert itself. So it needs to be either really sweet or really spicy. No, you, you asked Risei too. You're a grown up, big bro. So I thought you'd appreciate a bitter taste. So I put bell peppers and wheatgrass juice in it. Oh. I think that sour chocolate sounds really assertive. So I added vinegar and ponzu sauce too. I'm getting sicker and sicker just hearing this. Please tell me you didn't get advice from anyone else. Yukiko no. Said my chocolate would have depth if I added fish. No. So I added some fish sausage and some of Dad's fermented squid. How does your con concoction not smell? And Naoto told me she'd let me borrow a recipe book. Okay, that's the one same person. And when I told her I was already done, she told me that you'd enjoy anything that I made for you. Oh, she lied to you. Um, big bro, thank you. I love you. <laughs> Thanks, I love you too, Nanako. I have no options. I just get some of the chocolate from the slime's mouth. <gasps> big bro? What's wrong, big bro? Um, 
I'm dead, Nanako. I can hear Nanako's voice from far away. I'm sure I've managed to recover my health. <clears throat> There's a soft black corner from outside. School? I still gotta do school? Ah. Morning! Oh, hey, morning, Chia. You Good come? morning. Morning. The weather's great today. It's even a little warm, don't you think? Mm. I saw in the news that the first official spring storm was observed this morning. Spring is just around the corner, huh? Hmm. Spring, huh? Everything went by so fast. What's up? Hey, everybody. What's going on? Hmm. Uh, oh, nothing. We're just talking about how sp how spring's almost here. Then Sam Cunwell. Hmm. Ah. Uh, yeah. I, I try not to think about it. But hey, we still have some time, right? No gloomy faces until then. Yeah, let's have some fun. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pack your brain so full of good memories that you'll be begging us to stop. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Well, let's go. Uh, hey, wait for me. Time marches forward. So if we all go skiing, oh, we all eat together. It looks like we're making actual chocolate. Why is on the 14th of May? There's goodie bags everywhere. Oh, a group photo. This is cool, this like photo panorama that they're doing. Oh, that's awesome. Finish packing and I'll be returning to the city in two days. Decide to rest for today. That's sad. But all good things must come to an end eventually. Spring has come once again to Inaba. can't believe we've been here almost a full year. Time is really flies by when you're having fun. Tomorrow's final day I park with everyone. All done packing? Well, if you forget anything, I'll mail it to you. Thanks. Oh. Can I go answer the door? Oh yeah. That's right. Sure. Go answer it. There's nothing to worry about anymore. Yeah. The bad guy's gone. Seeing her so cheerful like that, nothing makes me happier. I already bought your train ticket for tomorrow. It leaves at 9 o'clock in the morning from Yasuita bus station. Today's your last day here. Don't worry about Nanako. You can leave her to me. Go see your friends. This might be your last chance to talk to them. Thank you. Last day I'll be spending in this town. Are you going out? Be careful. Thanks. I'll make sure to be careful. Ah, uh, so let's see. 
Let's go to the central shopping district. I won't go ahead and say goodbye to, to everyone. Wow, Samcon! You caught me off guard! <laughs> oh, um... I was just thinking of you, and you suddenly showed up, so... <laughs> Tomorrow's the day, huh? I thought a lot about you and I. I decided to come here. I was thinking, what can I do for you? And I figured crying or feeling sad about you leaving wasn't it. So I made up my mind. I'm gonna show you what you've taught me. I bought a book. It's called How to Become a Police Officer. I told you I wanted to become strong so I could protect what matters most to me, right? Well, I want to protect this town. We all worked hard to win this peace. I want to keep it that way. You can't be certain that no incident like this will ever happen again, right? This is where all my best friends are. It's where I met you. So I thought maybe I'd become a cop and have Dojima-san put me through the ringer. Oh. So go home proud. We'll be fine here. Come back any time. Well, I'll be waiting for you. You still have to say goodbye to everyone else, right? Go ahead. Go. Oh, those are formed true bonds with. Oh, hello. You have come. I was waiting for you. I wanted to see you before you left. Though, parting words aren't what I have for you. Remember? The heart is shaken more by a single action than by a thousand words. Do you know what action will shake both of our hearts? By handshake? Oh. Would that really satisfy you? <laughs> Yeah. For us residents, I'm sure this is a sin. Now, close your eyes. Um, okay. Why, you ask? So that you don't witness my sinfulness. Mm. Oh. I feel a solid bond between me and Margaret. Why did I steal a kiss? Is that what you were going to ask? But it's you who was the thief. <laughs> okay. Will I ever see you again, I wonder? Well then, farewell. Yeah, I like uh, Riza. Oh, Senpai! <coughs> Where are you going? Oh, I came to see you. Senpai, no. It's like you came to say goodbye. I'm not planning on letting this be the last time we meet. It does make me sad, though. I told you before, right? I'm returning to showbiz, starting spring. I went to voice training today to prepare myself for that. You see, I'm re-debuting myself with a new album. I'm writing all the lyrics myself. Well, I got a Deanna composition, so they aren't exactly masterpieces. But you know, a lot of stuff's happened while I was on break. I made friends, dear friends, and everyone was so nice to me. I want to express that to everyone who will listen, my deepest feelings in my own words. Ah, I'm scared. I'm scared of putting the real me out there for people to see, but I can't give in to that fear, right? I'm gonna work hard for all my fans out there. I'm gonna make a huge comeback. So, wish me luck. Of course. <laughs> Thank you, Senpai. I know that you'll be watching me on the other side of the camera. I'll keep thinking that way as I work. I look back at Junez now, and I feel all these good memories of us. Maybe I'll offer to appear in a commercial for Junez. Then you all remember the times we had every time you see it. But then we'll all feel a bit lonely afterwards, huh? Senpai, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll say goodbye and I won't cry. 
I'm so glad that fog's gone. <clears throat> I mean, it's still foggy over in the other world, but it's a clear blue sky here. I can see you off on a happy note. Well, see you later. Yeah, fire visa. And sorry, so you can talk to everyone that you've, uh, you can talk to everyone. You know, there's more if it's people that you max the social links for. I'm going to talk to our main party, and marie You're leaving, aren't you? You're leaving me behind. Stupid liar blockhead. I didn't even want you to save me, and you did. And now you're doing this? I'm going to be lonely. But we'll meet again. Of course we will. If we weren't going to meet again, I wouldn't let you go. Hey, I went out and got something to eat by myself. Those steak thingies, skewers, whatever they're called. I can, I can walk around town, even without your help. The bond between us has connected me to this world. It's kind of lonely, but I'm going to explore the town without you. I'm not scared anymore. If they don't take any steps forward, I won't learn anything. I'm going to find out more and more about this outside world, and next time you come, I'll be showing you around. <laughs> You're gonna say goodbye to everyone else, right? You're always like that. I'll see you again. Thank you. Yeah, this con. Let's just check real quick just to make sure no one we care about here since we're passing by. Yeah, no one is. Inari's not here, sad. Of course, I don't know what I would say to Inari. Whoa, senpai. What are you doing here? Well, what do you mean? Oh, hello, Sam Kun. I heard you're leaving tomorrow. You know, Conjure's been acting all sad and lonely lately. Sh sh shut up, you old bat. I told you not to speak to me that way. Anyway, have you told him about the handicraft class? Thank you for being such a role model for my son, Sam. Come visit here sometime, alright? Goodbye now. <sighs> yeah, you didn't hear what she said, did you? Handicraft class? Uh... See, a bunch of customers liked those dinner dolls we sold, and they asked me how to make them. So... I'm gonna hold classes on how to do it. L laugh it up, why don't you? <laughs> oh, I, I didn't expect you to laugh for real. It was my decision though. If people want to learn, and if I can teach them, heck, why not, you know? I, I'm still kind of embarrassed though. But uh, it kind of feels good to do something for other people. <laughs> It's only because of you that I could face up to who I am, Senpai. Thank you very much. I got you. The solid bond between me and Kanji. Are you going to say goodbye to the others later? Well, it ain't like this is the last time we'll see each other. Our friendship ain't just on the surface. Funny how we got the murder case to thank for that. We put an end to that stuff, right? Adachi's in the slammer. And the fog's all cleared up. It's all thanks to you, Senpai. Yo, Senpai. When you go, don't turn back around, okay? See ya. Yeah, you just left, Kanji. <coughs> yep, let's leave the shopping district. Uh... Try. Let's just try the Samagawa River Flango quick. So you've seen about half our team, but. Yeah, 
Yeah, leave the floodplain. I guess let's try Yasuo. Yasuo got me high. Spring break, but school's open to students today. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, and enter here real quick. Ah, there's Naoto. Oh, Senpai. Do you have business at school too? Oh, that's right. You're leaving tomorrow. Saying goodbye to your teachers? Eh, not really. Having a last look at school, huh? Can I come with you? Yeah. <sighs> this town has become so peaceful. Oh. No, not that I'm disappointed. It's just that for me to remain here without you or a case to solve, I feel somewhat listless. I know this sounds awkward. <clears throat> Since we've already discussed it before and came to a satisfactory conclusion that the reason for me being here has nothing to do with the case. Perhaps it's just your departure that's making me lonely. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm making trouble for you. No, I should apologize. Please, don't apologize. It's not your fault for moving home. I'm sure this is hardly the last time I'll face a situation such as this in my life. I'll remain here in Inaba, Senpai. Of course, from time to time, my services will be required elsewhere. But Inaba is my hometown now. I want to treasure the precious time I've spent with you, solving the case together. The Midnight Channel, Personas, Ameno Sigiri. My duty is to stay here and get to the bottom of these mysteries. To be honest, the thought of it makes me a bit lonely. Please, don't forget your time here. I won't, how could I? I'll be at the station tomorrow with the others. So, this is our last chance to talk. Just the two of us. No, of course it won't be. I can go visit you any time, and vice versa. Senpai, don't you have other farewells to say? Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. This floor. No one on this floor. Where is Yukiko? Leave school? Yeah. Let's try Sichiri Beach. I have no idea if this is where Yukiko is, but maybe. There's no reason to come here anymore. It feels like there's someone you haven't said farewells to yet. Yeah, are they in Okina City? Is Yukiko at Juna's then? Yeah, let's go to the food court real quick. Yeah, here's uh, Yosuke and Teddy. Yo! Sam! Sensei! I'm super duper happy that you came to see me! Going around saying goodbye, huh? What do you think of the sleepy, peaceful version of Inaba? It must seem weird to you. Huh? I wonder why it began just as you arrived here. I remember that first time. 
Sensei and Yosuke, brave in the TV world, all alone. Boy, I feel so nostalgic. Yeah, ever since then. It was just one surprise after another. Hmm. I can't imagine how it's going to be like living here without you. A quiet, peaceful town with no need to use our personas anymore. I can't imagine it either! <clears throat> That's right. We were right in the middle of the case when you came over to this side. A lot of stuff's happened. Facing my true self, and you and me got into a fight too. Yosuke, did you smack Sensei? Oh, how reckless. Of course, moron. Best friends gotta fight sometimes to be best friends. Why didn't you say so earlier? Oh boy, what are you gonna do? Sensei, bring it on. Let's fight. No, 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 no. Don't hurt him, man. He's gotta get on the train tomorrow. Sensei, you're really leaving, huh? I'm glad I met you and Yosuke. You two have completely changed my life. <laughs> and Nana-chan, Yuki-chan, and the others too. They all helped me. They gave life to me. Life? Come on, man. You are the one who wanted to change. That's why you tried so hard to make it happen. Thank you so much, Sensei and Yosuke. I love you. Love is kinda strong. I'll take off my outfit if you want. <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> By the way, is it okay for you to chill here? Don't you have somewhere to go? Like, meeting someone? Do you want Teddy to come with you? <sighs> no, I think Teddy has to work. Yeah, I'll see y'all a uh, little bit. Yep, yeah, let's leave Junez. Uh, let's go meet up with uh, Yukiko. Central Shopping District. It will take the bus stop. Yeah, let's go to Amagi Inn. Amagi Inn. Welcome to. Huh. Samcon. That's right. You're leaving tomorrow. Thanks for coming to see me before you leave. I'm very happy. <laughs> I... I was thinking of spending today as just another day. Helping with the housework, taking a long bath, uh, and going to sleep. So I can... I can say goodbye without crying. <laughs> but, but I failed miserably. I kept thinking about you. And on top of that, here you are, right in front of me. You're not helping at all. You're so mean. That's it. I'm leaving town with you tomorrow, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. For now. You know, after I decided to stay here and become the manager, I realized how afraid I was. Whether I can meet all the responsibilities. Whether I'll be able to support the whole staff on my own. I never thought of things like that. But I've made my decision. Now I have to make an honest attempt at it. I'll do my best to overcome the fear. And you'll be in my heart while I do, Samkun. We'll be together, even when we're apart. I promise I won't turn away from my problems and fears. 
I'm going to meet every challenge head on, no matter how hard it seems. Do you remember what Ama Ameno Sekiri said? If mankind so wishes, I will return at any time. That's not what I wish for. I'll face myself, no matter what happens. Thank you. I got you. I'll always love you. I love you too. Um, well, I, I should get back to work. I'll see you later. Yeah, see you, Yukiko. Let's share close bond with. Yep, so let's go to, uh... Yeah, let's go to, uh, uh, the Inaba Hospital real quick. Over here, two nurses talking. Have you heard about Uehara-san? Oh, Sayako? She joined some volunteer organization and went to Africa. Africa? I never thought she'd be the kind of person who'd go there. Well, she seemed to be taking her job really seriously toward the end of her time here. She even studied during her break. Do you remember when we were talking about the rumors of the Midnight Channel? She wasn't interested at all. Oh, I remember those rumors. Not that I know where they started. But yeah, now that you mention it, Rihara san was never around when we were chatting about them. She was studying some foreign language, wasn't she? Uh, she was trying to learn English in some African languages. She read a lot of medical books, too. I see. But why Africa? Why she join a volunteer organization? Like, what's the point? I'd rather marry a guy, raise kids, and be an ordinary housewife. See, <clears throat> that's that's what I used to think, too, but watching Urahara-san kind of made me feel different about it. She did seem to have a boyfriend, though. A very young one, too. Oh, it must have been that kid who was working here part-time. I don't know the details, but he seemed to really mean something to her. She once told me that she was trying to do her best to live up to him. Do her best, eh? I feel I have to try harder, too. Yeah, I'm starting to see where she was coming from. Let's get back to work and do our best. That's sad that Sayako's not actually here, but let's go that she's doing good work. Yeah, let's go back to the town. The shopping district. We'll go to the Dojima residence, because I believe we need to talk to them as well. Hey! Hey, Sam. How are the good guys coming along? Did you see all your friends? Uh, most of them. I see. Do they all cry? Let me see your face. Hmm. You look a lot more mature now. We've only been together for about a year, but kids grow up surprisingly fast. Nanako, do you remember what we promised? T take care of yourself, big bro. Don't get sick. You too, Nanako. Eat up. Don't look so sad, Nanako. We're all family, remember? It doesn't matter if we're apart. We can go see him when I get a vacation. But then we can talk about everything that's happened since we last saw each other, right? Mm. Yeah. Big bro. Will you remember me? Of course I'll remember you, Nanako. It's a promise. <sighs> oh, come on. Don't cry. I'm not crying. Oh well. I guess all kids end up being pushed around by their parents. Same goes for you, Sam. Sam. It wasn't all that long, all things considered. But... I did enjoy your time here with us. I really do think of you as part of my family. 
I'm surprised my sister's kid would turn out to be such an upstanding young man. <laughs> Give Nanako a call sometime when you have a spare moment. And you're always welcome to come visit us anytime. I'll leave your room just like it is. This is your second home, you know. Yes. When I grow up, I want to marry you, big bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're a stud, Sam. <laughs> sure, Nanako. If you're still available by the time you're an adult. But that'll be a long time, won't it, Sam? Right. The response is looking straight in my eyes. Doesn't seem to be joking. <laughs> by the way, have you said goodbyes to everyone yet? We still have a lot of time today. Why don't you go around Inaba and see everyone who will miss you? Besides, I don't think you've had the whole peaceful small town experience while you were here. Now that I think about it, that case began shortly after you arrived, and it finally ended a few months ago. Basically, it all happened while you were here in Inaba. I guess it was just a quirk of fate. Anyway, you should get going. We'll be going home too. So we'll go ahead and uh, end the episode off here. We still have quite a bit more people to say uh, our goodbyes to, but it is getting pretty uh, it is getting pretty late in the episode, actually. I mean, we've been going out for almost 50 minutes. So, uh, as always, I'm Sam Dethy One. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch all of y'all next time when we continue talking to the rest of our friends. Bye!